With mohair, you always, always, always have to make sure that the water does not cool down until you have drained it off and that all the water going back in is very hot. Otherwise, what happens is, is that the grease, it's not lanolin, it's grease with mohair. Okay, so at that point, run hooks everywhere, wherever you want. Okay, pose for the camera. Okay. Actually, one more just to make sure. Otherwise the grease settles back down onto your fiber and then you can't get it off. It's like it glues itself in place. So he requested a gray man's stocking cap with ribbing. Ah, oh, it's so hot. And so now at this point, I need to uh, siphon the water off and let it drain a bit. You can see in the bottom here, watch my finger. You can see in the bottom here where we caught quite a bit of mohair. It has quite, it, you don't want that going down your drain, okay? So, okay, so now I'm gonna squeeze every little bit of water that I can out. And I have a towel up here because I don't want any of these loose pieces of wool to fall through onto the stove. It, it, it's not terribly flammable, but it will burn. I don't wanna start a house fire. In the future, what I will do is I will get, I need to go find a wire basket to put this in because a wire basket would work just as well. But this fan, especially if I had a wire basket, would dry this out in a matter of an hour and a half. Whereas if I just had this in a dark corner somewhere, it would take two or three days to dry. I doubt that it'll have much of an opportunity to drip because the stove is warm, the air is moving. I'm now pulling the locks apart so that I can put it through the drum carter. You can see that there's white and also brown and then gray but it will blend out really nicely into a beautiful gray color. I love this fleece. It's nice and long. It's very soft. There's no guard hairs. I really, really love mohair. So this is Cloud. And what Cloud is, is just fiber that has been picked open so that it can go through the carter. Now Gary wants something that's a finer fiber. Otherwise, I could just spin from this cloud. But if I spun from this cloud, it would be very, very woolen. If at the end of this, I feel like I still have a lot of vegetable matter in it and things aren't aligning the way that I want, I will put them through the comb and tackle. Not comb and tackle, comb and hackle. <laughs> So I'm going to take this off, and depending on how it looks, I will see if I need to do that again. Mohair has a very silky texture. And it doesn't have barbs on it like wool does, so it's never scratchy. Be 
because it's so long, sometimes it can be hard to get off the drum carter. And I think I'm going to spin it as it is. I'm a little worried that if I try to do this through again, I'm going to have it doubling back on itself. But I do see quite a bit of edge ladder, so maybe I'll just have to be really, really careful running it through the second time. even if your fiber is not prickly, if you leave vegetable matter in, you will have prickles anyway. So guess what came in the mail? I was out trying to dig out our trailer so I could go and get straw. Um, the goats are kind of getting bogged down a bit in manure because of all the snow we've had. I haven't had enough bedding to keep them dry. So I'm going to go get a ton of hay for the animals and also for the greenhouse because I'm going to do a hot bed out of straw bales. So this is the yarn I'm spinning. And I might be selling it because I already made one that I'm going to sell on the Etsy store. But this is the color. You can see a little black. Show them how bulky it is. Yeah. So see how bulky it is? That's just like a polyglot. You want to see either way. This is, for me, See. It, this is some, some part of it is... Thin and some of it is bulk. This wall is the kind of wall I'm using to spin. And it's really pretty. Yeah, it's really pretty and green. The polywag is very easy to carry and it's very easy to spin with. And this is the handle. Wow, oh, that looks really cool, Mom. And the best part of it, what I think is the best part of it, is that you can put up um, the pedals and that there's little places for the bobbins on the spindle. Hi, Mom. Huh? Hi, Mom. So you can switch from bulky or anything like that. Okay. And there we go. It's just like pages in that. Can you see her? I wonder if they see you. I'm going to make sure they can see you because you're doing such a good job. They can. And last night I had a difficult time because it, it, the whole time it kept on hooking onto my dress, like spinning my dress. Right. <laughs> so these ones again, they have the hex in the back and the magnet that lets you pop the bobbin on and off instead of having to undo the drive band at all. Yeah, that's just like mine. That's and they have the hook rather than the orifice so that you're not, and it, and it has a ball on the end, so it's not hooking on your yarn. Okay. And so does mine. And then it has these little tabs that come up rather than hooks, again, so that it allows things to pull easier. Kaya, please don't pedal it. Okay. So, I need to put the drive band on. That is a pretty thick drive band. Dirt patch heavens channel. And her two little missies. So what I did is I take these threads and then I lightly spin on as a single ply raw alpaca fiber. So these, let's see if I can get close enough that you can see the threads. I need a tripod. Yes. 
that was probably not a good idea when mom's got a big hut. Ooh, goat roast. Yum! So, how'd you season it? Uh, seasoned salt and pepper with red cooking wine and lemon and olive oil. Excellent. It's always so wonderful and tasty. A little canter, not a gallop. Now ask her to trot. Ask her to trot. Sit deep and ask her to trot. Just remember, if you get it all the way, you have to push it in the other direction so that it doesn't hit him. Okay, so don't let it don't let it touch him. And don't let the rope hit him. We need to just get a clip for that gate. I did actually. Good oh boy. Yeah, that was really wise. I saw how you worked up to it. Oh my gosh, the humidity today is really something. Blah. Somebody left their whips out here. I wonder if they meant to. That was really good. He stepped right over it.